the fed up to the back teeth with a government that never takes responsibility and just tries to blame everyone. They, they can shout if they're proud. If they're proud of the fact that nine, over 98 per cent of rapists are never put before, if they want to shout about that, that's their record. Let them shout about it. You should be ashamed of yourself. The truth is simple. After 13 years of Tory government, crime is out of control and people are paying the price. Before Christmas, the BBC reported the shocking case of a woman in Armthorpe who had been beaten with a baseball bat by burglars three years ago. Nobody had been charged with that burglary and she couldn't sleep at night. Under their watch, tragically, that's not an unusual case. So can the Prime Minister tell us What's the charge rate for theft and burglary across the country? We are on track to meet our target of doubling the number of rape cases that are reaching our courts. Since, since the Rape Review Action Plan was published, we've seen police referrals double. We've seen charges double. And last year, there was a 65% increase in rape convictions. Yes. But importantly, we also changed the law to ensure that rapists would spend more time in prison. But the Prime Minister stands there and pretends that everything's fine. He is so totally out of touch. He needs, he needs to get out of Westminster, get out of Kensington. And, and Mr Speaker, I don't, mean, and I don't mean to Malibu, to the streets of Britain, go there and tell people it's all fine and see what reaction he gets. The answer he didn't want to give, although he knows it, is 4% of cases, 4% of burglary charges are charged, 96% of theft and burglary cases not even going before the courts. Burglars twice as likely to get away with it now as they were a decade ago. They should be ashamed of that record. And that cul-de-sac in Armthorpe has apparently seen 10 burglaries in 18 months, but only one of them has resulted in a prosecution. So rather than boasting and blaming others, why doesn't he tell the country when he's going to get the theft and burglary charge rate back to where it was before they wrecked policing? Since the Conservatives came into power, crime is down 50 per cent, Mr Speaker. Violent crime down 40 per cent. Burglary, the Honourable Gentleman mentioned burglary, burglary down 56 per cent. Why? Because we've recruited 20,000 more police officers. We've given them the powers to tackle crime and we've kept serious offenders in prison for longer. The only criminal investigation he's ever been involved in is the one that found him guilty of breaking the law. <laughs> I, I've prosecuted countless rapists. On the Prime Minister, I, I want tougher I've prosecuted countless rapists and I support tougher sentences. But you have to catch the criminals first. And when 98% of rapists are not even being put before the court, that's a massive failure on the government. And if he wants to go to Armthorpe, which is in Yorkshire, why doesn't he go to that cul-de-sac when he gets out and about in Yorkshire and, and, and ask them about those 10 burglaries that haven't been prosecuted? The reality is... After 13 years of Tory government, they've done nothing on standards, neighbourhood policing has been shattered, and burglars and rapists walk the streets with impunity. Yep. It's the same every week from the Prime Minister, whether it's the cost of living crisis, crime running out of control, or the state of the NHS. Why is his answer always to tell this British people they've never had it so good? Yeah.